Hello everyone. While making mango pickle, people often leave sliced mango in sun for drying so that it can be used later. Actually, many fruits are dried in sun for preserving for a long time. If we leave wet clothes in sun, it dries. When something dries, it means it loses water, right? So only possibility is water turns into water vapor and escapes. Now, the sun doesn't warm the clothes to higher degrees, say 100 degrees centigrade. At a given temperature, in any solid, liquid or gas, there are particles with different amount of energy. In case of liquids, a small fraction of particles at the surface having higher energy are able to break away from the forces of attraction of other particles and these water particles get converted into vapor. This phenomenon of change of a liquid into vapors at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation. This evaporation is a very common process. A water puddle dries up because of evaporation. Our wet hair gets dried on its own because water gets evaporated from wet hair. The sun drying process in which fruits, vegetables, meat etc. are dried in the sun for preservation works because of evaporation. The water from food evaporates leaving it so dry that it doesn't get spoiled for a long time. Now take equal amount of water in a cup and a plate and keep them under the sun. Come back after 2-3 hours. What do you see? You will find that more water has evaporated from the plate. We already know that evaporation is a surface phenomenon. If the surface area is increased, the rate of evaporation increases because more particles will be able to gain higher energy and get converted to vapor. On hot sunny days, clothes dry faster because with the increase of temperature, more number of particles get enough energy to go into the vapor state. But the clothes don't dry fast in few hot days in the rainy season. Why? It's because of humidity. We know that humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air. The air around us cannot hold more than a definite amount of water vapor at a given temperature. So, if the amount of water in the air is already high, the rate of evaporation decreases as in the case of humid weather. Have you ever wondered how a hand dryer or a hair dryer works? These machines blow warm air very fast. Warm air speeds up evaporation, but the speed of air is the key here. With the increase in the speed of air, the particles of water vapor move away, decreasing the amount of water vapor in the surroundings and thus speeds up the evaporation process. Now, we also feel cooler after the sweat on our body evaporates. This is because particles of sweat absorb the energy required for evaporation from the surrounding and from the surface area of contact. Here, the sweat is in contact with your body and hence it takes some heat from your body which supplies latent heat for the change of state. So, you feel cooler. For the same reason, the water remains cool in the earthen pots or clay pots. These pots are porous. The water kept inside the pot seeps out and wets the outer surface. The dry air outside helps in evaporation of this water. The latent heat of evaporation is taken from the pot and the water inside and hence the water remains cool in the earthen pots. For the same reason, we wear cotton clothes in the summer season. The cotton absorbs water well, so it absorbs sweat and exposes it to the atmosphere for evaporation. This sweat takes the heat required for evaporation 
from our body and the surroundings so we feel little cooler thus we see evaporation plays an important role in our daily lives that's all for now bye bye